Hi everybody and welcome to Stackstorm Tutorials. Today's tutorial is on workflows. Workflows are actions that are chained together in a sequential order. That means they run one after another. Running actions in parallel or at the same time will be covered in another tutorial. There are three different workflow engines that Stackstorm supports. The first one is Action Chain. Action Chain is very simple but does not support advanced features like the other two engines do. The second workflow engine is Mistral. This workflow engine is from OpenStack and is more flexible and complex than Action Chain. It supports the use of Yakult and Jinja. The last workflow engine that Stackstorm supports is called Orchesta. Note that currently Orchesta is in a technology preview or release candidate state and is not yet stable. A stable release of Orchestra will be released with Stackstorm 3.0. The first workflow is run by the Orchestra workflow engine. The entry point is simply another YAML file in the workflows directory under the actions directory. It takes two parameters, the mockable demo parameter, which has a default value, and a component parameter. The gather Python versions workflow also uses the Orchestra workflow engine. It also uses a different entry point, but it accepts the same parameters. The gather node versions workflow uses the Mistral workflow engine. It has, again, a different entry point, but accepts the same parameters. Finally, the gather versions workflow uses the action chain engine and has its own entry point and only one parameter. We'll see why in just a bit. Let's take a look at one of those workflows. This is the definition of the gather bash versions workflow. Please refer to the orchestra documentation for a full description of the workflow syntax. The two interesting keys in this workflow are the input key and the tasks key. The two input parameters to this workflow are mockable demo and component as we saw in the action metadata file from before. These parameters are published into workflow context dictionaries, which will be referenced later on. The value of the tasks key is an ordered dictionary of the tasks to run. The first task is check bash major version. It runs the check bash version action from the tutorials pack and passes in two parameters to the action, major and minor. When the action is successful, it publishes the standard out from the action into the major key of its workflow context. The next task it runs is check bash minor version. The check bash minor version task runs the same check bash version action from the tutorials pack, but it passes in different values for the major and minor input parameters. When the action is successful, it publishes the standard out of the script into the minor key of its workflow context. Then the workflow runs the report bash version task, which sends out an HTTP POST request to a specified URL. This URL is constructed using YAQL, Y-A-Q-L, which stands for yet another query language. The YAQL part of this string is denoted by the angle bracket and percentage sign, and is closed by a matching percentage sign and angle bracket. The subdomain that is used in the HTTP request is pulled from the mockable demo key of its workflow context, which comes from the workflow input parameters. This action adds a content type HTTP header and submits a JSON dictionary containing the component, major, and minor keys, again using YAQL to interpolate them into the JSON string itself. After that, the workflow is done. Let's take a look at the action chain workflow now. This workflow is run by the action chain workflow engine. The first key in this YAML file is the chain key. It specifies a list of tasks to run. The first task is gather bash versions with underscores. It runs the gather bash versions with dashes action from the tutorials pack and passes in two parameters, the mockable demo parameter and the component parameter. The mockable demo parameter uses a Jinja expression designated by the two curly braces to pass in the mockable demo variable from the workflow input. 
the component parameter is simply set to a literal string value. For this task, the value of the component parameter is bash. When the task is finished running, whether the action succeeded or failed, the workflow engine will transition to running the gather Python versions task. The gather Python versions task is defined very similarly to the gather bash versions task. It runs the gather Python versions with dashes action from the tutorials pack and uses the same value for the mockable demo parameter. The component parameter, however, is Python, not bash, like it was in the gather bash versions task. When this task is finished, again, whether the action succeeded or failed, the workflow engine will then run the gathered node versions task. The gathered node versions with underscores task runs the gathered node versions with dashes action from the tutorials pack and passes in the same mockable demo parameter with the same value as before. This time, the value of the component parameter is node.js. When this task is finished, if the action is successfully run, the workflow will run the report success task. If the action failed, the workflow will run the generate UUID task. The report success task uses the local action from the core pack to run the echo command on the Stackstorm server. This example is a silly way to report success. In production, some workflows post success messages to an instant messaging system or send an email. Other workflows may use an entirely different mechanism to report success or may not report success at all. It is up to the workflow author to decide how to handle reporting success. If the gather node version task fails, the workflow runs the generate UUID task. This task runs the UUID action from the core pack and passes in the UUID type parameter with the value UUID4. This generated UUID is not used anywhere. Like the report success task, this is a silly example. In most workflows, the author will somehow report a test failure, either using an instant messaging system, by sending an email or an alert to a monitoring system, or some other mechanism to report failure. Again, it is up to the workflow author to decide how to handle reporting a workflow failure. The last important key in an action chain workflow definition is the default key. The value of this key specifies which task to run first. For this workflow, execution will start with the gather bash versions task. 